Hello everyone. Today we will discuss common source amplifier. In common source amplifier, we give input to the gate terminal and uh, output we take from drain terminal. Okay. So let's draw the common source amplifier. This, this is NMOS and uh, RD. Input we are giving to the gate, gate terminal. Okay. So this is V in and output we are taking from the drain terminal so this is drain terminal so this is v out plus minus vgs if my v in equal to zero what will be vgs it will be zero since my vgs equal to zero so mosfet will remain off to make on the mosfet we have to give vgs uh, greater than equal to VTH then only this MOSFET will be on okay so for this uh, we have to give a constant DC voltage on the gate terminal so when my V in is not able to on this uh, MOSFET this uh, VGS uh, this uh, V buys that voltage the DC voltage which we will apply can own this MOSFET okay so this is the voltage V buys for biasing okay V buys okay now we want to calculate gain and the gain equal to V naught by V in. For calculating gain, we will do small signal analysis of this circuit. Okay. While doing the small signal analysis, we have to make ground all the DC sources. So V bias it will become zero. So and the VDD is like this okay now to uh, we are considering that uh, lambda equal to zero that is the uh, we are neglecting uh, neglecting the channel length modulation channel length modulation okay so for this case we will do the small signal analysis this circuit okay the small signal model model of this uh, MOSFET is like this VGS and this is my gate terminal source and VG GM VGS drain terminal so now see on the gate terminal there is a voltage V in and at source terminal ground from drain terminal output we are taking that is V naught and from the drain terminal and the ground between there there is a resistance RD so RD let a current is flowing through RD ID okay so by applying the KVL on this side v in minus vgs equal to zero so vgs equal to v in first equation now applying the kcl on this node i will got that id plus gm vgs and id is equal to the voltage drop across it which is V0 divided by R0 sorry RD so it is V0 by RD plus GM VGS is V in so V in equal to 0 so V0 by RD equal to minus GM V in so V0 by V in equal to minus GM rd that is gain av equal to minus
and SG and RD. Okay. Okay. Uh, see, what is the meaning of this negative sign? Let V in is this. Okay. This is V in. What will be the V out? This negative sign says that there this V out this V out is equal to G M R D V in. This V out will be in 180 degree phase difference with this V in. So hmm, so my V out will be like this. Okay. You can see that the phase difference between these two is 180 and this is the amplified form of the V in. So this is the meaning of this negative sign. Okay. So AV equal to minus GM dot RD. Well, lambda equal to 0. Okay. Now let's calculate R naught. Output impedance. Okay. To calculate the output impedance, from which side I want to calculate the output impedance? There we have to apply a voltage V X. Okay. So this is V X. From this side we want to calculate Z out. Okay. And because of this V X, a current is flowing I X and to the input side of the circuit the input voltage uh, make it zero so it will become zero now z out is equal to vx by ix so to calculate z out see on this side vgs equal to what zero okay since my vgs equal to zero this is zero this Okay, current source is zero, so this is zero, so it will become open circuit, and no current will flow through this. So all current will flow through this R D. So V X will become equal to I X dot R D. I X dot R D. Okay, so V X by I X equal to R D, and this V X by I X equal to what? Z out. So Z out equal to RD. Okay. Now let's talk about Z in. To calculate Z in, this is my V out. Okay. And there was V in voltage and I in current is flowing through. See, my I in is zero. Okay. Uh, GM VGS I in is zero. Okay. Why? Because in MOSFET, uh, this oxide layer is there. And since because of this, there is no flow of uh, current inside. Okay. So, this uh, I in will become equal to zero. So my V in by I in is equal to V in by 0 that is infinite. This is my Z in. So Z in equal to infinite. Now case 2. In case 2 we are considering the channel length modulation that is lambda is not equal to 0. That is we are considering we are considering channel length modulation channel length modulation okay so because of the channel length modulation there will uh, R note resistance will come to come into the picture okay so now let's draw the small signal model of this this is V in source which is ground and GM 
BGS and here R note will come into picture. This is V naught and this is R D. Okay, so now apply the cable on this side for calculating this uh, gain. Okay, so V in minus V G S equal to zero. Okay, so V G S will become equal to V in. Okay, so now see. Uh, there is some current flowing through this that it is I know and some current flowing through this this is ID okay now apply the KCL on this node so after applying the KCL I got the equation GM VGS plus I know plus ID equal to 0 okay so GM what is VGS VGS is uh, V in okay so V in plus i naught i naught is what is the voltage drop across this r naught it is v naught since it is parallel to this okay so it is my v naught by r naught and what is my id id will be vd by rd okay equal to zero so v naught will become equal to one by r naught plus one by rd equal to minus gm v in okay so v naught by v in will become equal to minus gm and r naught dot rd r naught plus rd okay so this is my gain when lambda is not equal to zero so av equal to minus gm r naught dot rd that is or we can say what minus gm R not parallel R D. Okay. So R not parallel R D. Okay. When lambda is not equal to zero. Okay. Now let's calculate the output voltage. Okay. For same way uh, we calculate before the Z out. Like that we will calculate the Z out in this case. Okay. So we have to give a voltage there vx okay and the current going through this ix and this is ground so this is ground vgs will become equal to what zero so one so this vgs equal to zero so it will become open circuit since it is open circuit no flow of current through this okay so ix will become equal to what id plus i naught what is my id and i naught the drop of voltage drop across this R node and RD is Vx so Ix equal to uh, Vx divided by RD plus Vx divided by R node okay so it is equal to Vx 1 by RD plus 1 by R node so R node R node okay so Vx by Ix equal to how much not rd r not plus rd uh, this is my z out okay or we can say z out equal to r not parallel rd okay so z out output impedance equal to r not parallel rd okay so this is the gain uh, when the, we are not considering the channel length cons modulation and uh, this is again minus gmrd minus sign says that 180 degree phase uh, the output is 180 degree phase with uh, the v in and z out equal to rd and when z in, in is equal to <coughs> infinity and when my lambda equal to is not equal to zero that is we are considering the channel length modulation and then my a v equal to this so this is all about the common source amplification amplifier so thanks for watching the video